right, hi guys. Um, I know since a lot of us are stuck at home, people are making their own sourdough starter. So I wanted to show you the difference between um, a starter that has not been fed and then one that's been fed and has had some time to bloom, they call it. So this guy, this is my starter, um, and its name is Jeter, which is the name of my street. Um, and you can see in there that even though this starter, um, you couldn't you couldn't bake with this just just yet. I mean you could, but um, it would take a really long time to rise. But there's some bubbles in there. So when you're first making a sourdough starter, this is really what it's going to look like, sort of like pancake batter. Um, and and you'll see those bubbles, and it has a little bit of a bread kind of smell to it, um, but it also has a little bit of a vinegary uh, kind of acidic smell to it. Um, whenever you're feeding your starter, you're gonna put it into a new container. This I took from this bowl and put it into this bowl and measured on my scale um, the amount that I wanted, and then I added the same amount of flour and the same amount of warm water um, and just mixed it together um, and then set it aside and covered it um, just with a towel. And then I come back and like two hours later, three hours later, some people's are faster than others, um, it looks like this. And you can see um, how very airy it is um, and all of those amazing bubbles that are in there. I don't know if you guys can even hear them popping as I'm stirring this around. This is really ready to go. Um, another great, and it's okay to put the active starter back into the starter that's not going, Another really great way to test and see if the starter is ready to use is called a float test. I'm just putting some water into a Pyrex. Let me just move the non-active starter out of the way. Um, and what you can do is, hold on one second, take just a little bit of the bloomed starter here on a spoon and put it into, you can see it floating already, put it into some water, and if it's ready to use, it will float. So this starter is definitely ready to go. It'll make some awesome bread. You can see it floating around in there. And um, that's really it. So um, just wanted to share with you guys the best way to um, tell the difference, again, between some unfed, not ready to use, and then fed and really great shape, um, well aerated sourdough starter. Happy baking!